Yo guys, in today's video, we're going to be playing Nightmare Mode on every single map in Toilet Tower Defense. We're going to try to auto-skip every single one of them and see how many of them we could actually beat. The challenge, obviously, hopefully we could beat them all. If not, well, then I guess we lose, right? But let's try our best out here. Let's see what we could actually do. We're going to start things off on Palm Paradise, the one and only. One of my favorite maps might actually be my favorite map. I'm not too sure. What's your favorite map, guys? Let me know in the comments. But I think that this is my favorite map, to be honest with you. I really like how they have, like, two spawners and stuff like that. It's just pretty cool. We should probably put on auto-skip only, though, right, guys? That would be a good start. But anyways, let's get down all of our Santas. And then later on, I'll go ahead and I'll plop down my green laser cam man probably over here or over here or something like that that way we could actually take out some of these uh, starter guys and not die to the first 20 units you guys know what i'm saying so let's not let that happen let's play it safe let's play it smart let's get the w here all right we can't lose the first match now of course we're gonna go ahead get down the santa tv man another one that's now the max ones that we can put down so we can no longer get any more santas down but that should be okay it shouldn't really kill us but obviously it, it kind of stinks a little bit right because you know i'd love to get down 20 of them so that way i could get a lot of profit but you know what it is what we is we can't do everything and oh, also guys, I don't know if I mentioned the start of this video or not, but we are doing a Silent Mythic giveaway. All you gotta do to enter that is, of course, leave a like in this video, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you guys leave a comment with your Roblox username. Once you do those couple things, go over to my website, ltcrazy.com. Make sure y'all enter your tickets. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you how to do it after this match is over. But for the time being, let's see how far we could actually get. So far, so good. Looks like my green laser guy is handling all these enemies pretty darn well so that's good as long as he doesn't get stunned here by any of those uh dual claw guys everything should be going quite well for us right that's the way i see it however that dual claw gets close enough it might be big trouble for the boys here i don't know guys i don't know it's gonna be sketchy so far it looks like he tried to stun us but i don't think he was able to do it guys so that's good right i don't know i guess he can't reach I don't know. I don't know, guys. I guess he can't reach there. So that is great to know. But for right now, we should definitely focus up on upgrading some more Santas because if I don't do that, I'm never going to get enough money to upgrade these guys anymore. And then eventually we are just going to end up losing. So let's avoid that at all costs here. Let's do some smart upgrades and just keep the game flowing here, guys. We got to keep the game flowing. All right, let's go. We got enough money to upgrade another Santa TV man. So let's do that. And so far, these bosses are definitely getting kind of close here, closer than I'd like. So let's throw down a little boost right there, and hopefully that'll help my teammate out. And, you know, we should be able to take out those bosses and any other units that come our direction pretty darn easily. And plus, I got my Santas upgraded to level 3, all three of them, so that's pretty epic. And for the time being, we do have some leaks coming our way, so maybe we'll go ahead upgrade our green laser again. And obviously, that's not going to be, like, too much of a big deal for us, but... It definitely was a big hit on our money there. We could have put that money to upgrading some more Santas, but realistically, guys, if I don't do that upgrade right there, I think we might die. So, you know, it's probably smarter to get that down. And then, you know what we could also do? We could throw down a medic just in case he does get stunned. Then, you know, if we get stunned, we get unstunned real quick by the medic. So everything's going to be just fine. We'll be chilling. Boom, he just blocked a rocket right there. So that's good. That's good. I didn't know he could do that. So that's great, actually. Wave 10 is starting now. So... It's about to get really, really hectic, guys. Now, hopefully, we could be able to handle it, but I'm not too sure how this is going to go. We got that mutant toy, and we got some other mean stuff. So, let's go ahead, upgrade the Santa TVs. We got them both, or actually, all three of them upgraded to level four now. So, that's amazing. And look at this, guys. Only, like, a couple leaks now. I mean, we, we are pretty much taking care of most of the lobbies. So, this is a good turning point in the match. I feel like now we're actually able to uh, take care of ourselves. So, this is good. And look at this, guys. We could actually go ahead and drop down the big, bad, sinister man. And he is affected by the DJ. So, that is really, really strong and OP for us. Plus, he's doing splash damage, keep in mind. So, that makes him super strong. So, I love the sinister, guys. He might be my new favorite unit in the game outside of the chef. If the chef will ever get the uh, old upgrade so he can actually be affected by the DJ, then he'll definitely be my favorite. But for right now, the sinister can be affected by the DJ. So, it makes him a little bit stronger, I think. And a little teeny tiny bit better than most other units in the game outside of, like, the clock, man. Because, obviously, the clock man's pretty OP. But I can't get him on my team because I can only have five troops, guys. Do you all remember way back in the day when Talantric teased that they'd be adding some sixth uh, unit slot for, like, high rank players or something like that? I swear. I swear, guys. He said that way back in the day. But still to this day, we have not seen that update. So, I don't know if that's ever going to come to the game or not. But... We can all hope, right? <laughs> we can all hope, I guess. 
Right now, though, my Sinister is kind of sleeping. So, yo, that's not good. Yo, Sinister, buddy, you're going to have to wake up. And you're going to have to put in some work here. Because my Green Laser can't do it all, man. My Green Laser can't do it all. It's up to you to at least do something here, buddy. It's up to you to at least do something. We should definitely get the next upgrade on him, though. Because that's going to be big news for us. And that airplane toilet's kind of sketching me out a little bit. So... I could upgrade the green laser. He'll be much better if I do that. So maybe I should go with that upgrade first because it increases his range and then absolutely is going to help us shred through these enemies. Like as you guys can see right there, that was pretty ridiculous how quickly he just killed all those guys. So yeah, I think that was the right move and we could go ahead and upgrade the medic again as well. So every time we upgrade the medic, obviously that just makes it so we uh, get unstunned quicker because it slows down the cooldown so that's good i think that the og medic it might be like one of the best ones i know that some people use like the new stuff but guys do you really think that the new ones are better because like i've been using the speaker repair drone trying to get used to him i know he's like a movable like you know healing unit but i just don't think he's worth it i feel like there's just better options out there i don't know if that's just me or if you guys agree with me or not but that's the way i see it so i'm just curious what you guys actually think because for some reason, when I'm playing, it just doesn't seem too good. I don't know if it's true or not. But anyways, so far so good. Wave 18. We're still auto-skipping. This might be doable, guys. This very, very well might be doable on this map. Just essentially because the track is so long. So hopefully we can auto-skip to the end. You know, I'm, I'm trying. You know, guys, instead of beating all the maps, that's kind of tough. Let's try. You know, I'm still going to do all the maps in this video. But let's, like, set our goals a little bit more realistic, right? Let's try to beat, like, at least four four of like the six or seven maps that exist all right if we could do that then i think that's pretty cool and pretty epic so let's try our best to at least do three or four of them and then that would be pretty uh pretty cool right but look at this guys we got the airplane toe coming our way but we took him out there pretty darn quickly we got a ufo giant blind toe and now holy smokes this game's getting hectic but on the bright side we don't have any leaks right now so things are looking pretty darn good let's go ahead upgrade the uh, sinister again there we go that should help us out with uh range and more damage and that's going to definitely add up for us so it's gonna be very 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 nice let's also go ahead and maybe drop down a nice little uh medic next to that like sinister as well just so he gets double affected by it and uh hey it could just you know be a little bit better for the team right so i think that's smart i don't know what you guys think good move bad move i don't know i think it's a good move so anyways though we are on wave 22 guys wave 22 here and so far so good look at this we are absolutely wiping out any of these like smart toilets that come away the sinister like can't decide if he wants to attack the giant blind toilet or just wipe out the whole wave of wave 22 <laughs> seriously he just destroyed all those guys holy smokes let's upgrade him again what do y'all say there we go now he's doing even more damage so you know, this is actually incredible. I mean, it, the damage numbers are a little off right now. 5405, that's weird. I know it's because of my DJ, but that's annoying, right, guys? We got to we gotta get him up a little bit more so then it doesn't look like that because that's going to drive me crazy. I also need to get him a scythe. Once I get him a scythe, geez, guys, we are going to be so strong and so broken and so OP. But we're not there yet. We're close, though. We're close. We're even taking out UFOs before they even get to the second part of the track. Holy smokes. And I just need to do one more upgrade on my, my like, Santa TVs over there. And guess what, guys? Once I do that... We are going to be maxed out on our money-making units. So, you know, that's that's obviously, like, a really, really good thing because then I don't have to worry about money ever again. I'll just be getting 6000 every single round, which is seriously... I think it's pretty crazy. I think it's pretty strong, pretty OP, but you know what? I'm not going to complain because I like when things are OP and broken, right? All right, anyways, though, we got ourselves a dual flying bus out toilet coming our way. That could be semi-problematic, but I think that we'll be able to take it out. Anyways, the next upgrade, we can actually just upgrade this guy twice here. Now, the DV DJ TV man is currently maxed out, so that means my Sinister is going to be very, very strong, essentially because his cooldowns is even lower now, too, so that just makes him super duper strong, guys. Like, it's not even a joke at this point. As you can see, I legit have two units that are attacking right now, and we are still hanging in there pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay right now. Not, not perfect. Not perfect, but after this next wave skip, I'm going to get the next $12,000 upgrade, and then we're going to be doing even more damage, plus even more range. So, that's a good start, guys. That's a great start, if you ask me. There we go. We did it. Now, the next upgrade is incredible. I know it looks bad, right? Because, yeah, we lose 1,000 damage. That sucks. I know, it does. But we gain more range, and we also get down 0.2 seconds on the cooldown. So, we are literally going to be tacking every 0.1 second, which is just unreal, guys. I'm serious like that. At that point, you might as well just give up, Toilets, because you ain't, you have no shot of getting through. You ain't getting through us. Not a shot, guys. Not a shot. 
Uh oh, well, if we get stunned, you might, but that's not good. Let me uh, upgrade them again. There we go. Now, as you guys can see, they are just getting absolutely destroyed. So, not even a chance, guys. Not even a chance. You want to know another thing that I could do here? I could put down a green laser over there, max him out. That way, he slows down the enemies that uh, pop out of the tunnel, like, pretty quickly. So, that's good. He might get, uh, you know, hit by some of those other enemies as well that, like, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. The guys that, like, come out with explosives strapped to them and, like, try to stun my guys that they'll focus up on those three green laser uh, cameraman. So, by doing that... We don't have to get uh, stunned over here on the big bad sinister and we don't have to waste his energy or whatever so i think that's pretty smart and then guess what guys soon enough here i'm gonna be able to get down the next upgrade which is just ridiculous because our damage goes up plus plus seven thousand. like what why well, is it so much stronger when you get the last upgrade i wonder that's crazy though that's like so much stronger guys like i'm not even joking that is craziness so boom there it is now we got the scythe and uh, as you guys know if you get hit by that scythe you ain't coming back from that. As you can see, these guys are almost getting, like, two hit by the scythe right now. And I'm not even joking. So, yeah, it's that good, guys. It really is. It's it's that good. So, you do not want to be hit by a scythe in your life, all right? Let me tell you. But anyways, let's uh, upgrade the medic over here as well. And that's good. And now we can just focus up on our second sinister, guys. That's it. And even my green laser cameraman over there are actually kind of doing a job as well. Like, they're not, they're not holding the fort down completely. But you got to keep in mind... That's not their job. Their job is to slow the enemies down as they come out of the tunnels. So let them do their thing, guys. Let them cook. Let them cook, all right? Let them cook, and they're going to cook for us, and we're going to keep staying alive, all right? So let's upgrade our Sinisters over here. And we're already on wave 34 on map number one. This is crazy, guys. I can't believe we're able to do this so well. This is... uh. This is impressive. I ain't gonna lie, guys. This is definitely impressive. I hope that we could beat this challenge, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Palm Paradise is probably the easiest map to start off with, so that's why I started here. So it's only gonna get harder from here, like the Toilet HQ. Holy smokes, that's gonna be tough. Also, we got other maps, such as the Toilet Lab. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I'm scared for the Toilet Lab. That map is is bad it's rough like not bad in a sense it looks bad or anything well it kind of looks bad but also it's tough it's tough There's sometimes your units don't track into the right guys they shoot the guys in the back like it just ends up being a disaster and then you just end up losing because uh, the game's buggy so we gotta we gotta try our best guys we gotta try our best out here hope for the best and uh yeah we'll see what happens guys we'll see what happens but for right now we're already on wave 37 at this point we're basically like honestly we're essentially spawn trapping these enemies right now so this is just going very very well for the lt army so let's just keep it up with what we're doing and i think that everything is gonna be just okay i'm serious guys i think everything is gonna be just okay for the lt army and we should be able to pull this one off we should be able to get the w and we're gonna be happy after this uh this video concept is over right so here we go wave 38 is already here which is awesome so hey we'll start that up and we'll get after it all right we'll get after it here we go laser ufo toilet so yeah those got smoked they didn't even have to, like, honestly they didn't have a chance at all guys they just died like instantly so at this point you want to know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drop down a dj over here to just help spawn trap a little bit like easier with all these uh green laser guys because i'm gonna start upgrading them now i think you know what you want to know why because you know i'm gonna start spawn trapping even harder because i'm gonna start putting sinisters over here i think because well honestly guys why the heck not right i mean look at how good this is working out for us right now these green lasers are seriously helping so much and then plus on top of that the sinisters any unit that makes it past the green lasers they just die instantly to the scythe so it's just super broken guys this strategy is super duper broken you want to be any challenge you just got to use these units guys i'm not even joking it's your best possible you know loadout yeah i might make a video on that separately from this one but like this loadout right here is super stacked like you just can't beat it I know there's other rare units out there, such as the Engineer, Spider TV, stuff like that, but nothing compares to the Sinister and the DJ, guys. I'm serious. They're just, uh, like that combo, it's deadly. 0.15 with 15,000 DPS is just unreal. Unreal. It's over, like, 100,000, guys, or basically 100,000 damage per second. So, if y'all consider that, you know, just just know it's, it's pretty, pretty broken. I'm just gonna say that, guys. I'm just gonna say that. It is pretty darn broken, but let's sell this medic over here, and I'm actually going to place the medic over here, this way all these guys are uh, helped out, and then plus we could go ahead, drop down the big, the bad sinister like I was telling you guys I was going to do. We'll get him right here, and then kind of like attack them from this angle, so that way anytime the enemies like converge on this point where I'm standing, 
the Sinister is going to be able to attack them. Not quite yet, because I don't have the range just yet, but I will soon, guys. I just need a little bit more range, and then I'm telling you, we're going to be in an even better position here, and we'll just be doing even better for ourselves. So, I like our setup, guys. I like our setup. We got a few hard enemies left, but other than that, I mean... This, uh, this game is pretty much a GG. Honestly, guys, it's pretty much a GG. Plus, he's, like, going back and forth attacking both sides. This is just incredibly broken. I can't believe how broken we found. What a great strategy. What a great strategy, guys. This is insanity. They're not even, like, really getting to the back Sinisters. They're just dying by, like, four units up in the front. Could you believe that? I feel like we're not even getting stunned right now, which is honestly kind of surprising. I don't know why we're not getting stunned, but we're not, which is awesome because that makes us even more strong, right? So, look at this. I mean... The, the technique here, guys, the technique is just uncomparable with anything else that you could possibly do. Like, having that Sinister there, he just sits here, faces where I'm standing, and he just attacks everything that comes in the path. Like, anything that spawns is basically immediately getting attacked, and then we'll just wait. Just wait, because I'm about to get 7,000 more damage added to this, this unit. So, you know, wave 49, 50. You guys better watch out. Actually, we have 48, too. All right, there we go. We got it, guys. So now we got the scythe. Unfortunately, it doesn't reach where it converges, but you know what? It does reach when they come out of the tunnel, so it is still going to help us out a ton. At the end of the day, it's going to be fine. It's going to be just okay. And now I could actually get down another guy. So, hey, we'll put him... Come on, come on, right there. Let's see, does he reach? Yes, he does. And then, hey, we'll upgrade him starting now as well. We might not technically be able to max him out all the way, but you know what, guys? It's okay at the end of the day. It's fine. Once this next wave skips i'm just gonna sell all my santas and then i shall put all my extra money into this remaining sinister however he is getting stunned a little bit more than some of the other guys but there's even a glitch on him right now and the glitch just got shredded like he died like instantly guys that's why he's getting stunned plus there's like a rocket guy shooting eight rockets at my dude and he doesn't even care look at look at this guys he doesn't even care look at the, the oh well now he does okay never mind he didn't care for a while there he, those rockets were just going right through him that's kind of funny all right anyways there we go we'll sell all those uh santas and then just max out our sinister as much as we could that's it guys that's it for the first map of this little fun challenge so wave 50 here it is what is that unit right there flying quad buzz so that's what i never i don't recall that being an orange uh, shirt that's pretty cool though and look at it, there is uh the giant smooth toilet uh-oh that's uh problematic well i mean he does have 2.5 million hp but guess what guys my guys are just better look at us look at us go yo we're just better we are just so much better holy smokes guys that's crazy you won challenge map number one complete let's go back to the lobby here we go now the next question is what map are we gonna do next guys what map we got so many options we got the toilet city the desert can manage q toilet lab or the toilet hq i'm probably just gonna go in order maybe we'll go to the toilet city next and uh, we'll try that one and see what happens guys i don't know we might win we might not but uh before we get into that if you guys uh, like i said wanted to enter that giveaway don't forget all you gotta do is leave a like smash that subscribe button comment your roblox username and once you do those couple things head on over to my website ltcrazy.com and i want to show you guys how to enter those tickets right now all right guys once you're on my website scroll on down and click the giveaways button once this page loads up on the top you got the sign mythic giveaway if you scroll down a little bit more you got the giveaway for the next stream so make sure you join both of those and also on the top you got the toilet tower defense page click this so you can find the accurate value of any unit in the entire game you can just use the search bar or use these like little buttons here once you guys do that you'll never get scammed again so happy training and let's get back to the video all right guys so hey here we are in the big bad toilet city so obviously we're gonna put on auto skip we're gonna put on nightmare mode and we're gonna try to beat this map now so this one is pretty interesting sometimes this map goes well sometimes it goes pretty bad for me it honestly kind of just depends like I, I feel like you know if you don't use the right unit at the right time you could either really throw the game down the drain or it'll work out for you and you'll win so let's hope for the better on this one all right let's hope for the better game but uh, hey we'll just have to see right anyways as soon as this wave skips i'm gonna go ahead and toss down my first unit right here yep right there and then all my extra money that i get from these extra waves here we'll start putting down some more santas because y'all already know that the santas are just uh pretty darn necessary right so we'll get it down as soon as we could but for the time being we're just gonna have to let the green laser guy you know, kind of do his thing, right? We're just going to have to let him do his thing. Hopefully, he can clutch it up. But, hey, we'll just have to see, guys. We'll just have to see. Here we go. Wave 3, though, already. So, we'll go ahead, toss down the next uh, Santa. Boom, we got it just in time before the next wave skips. 
and then after the space skips again we'll get down the next one boom there we go guys that's three santas down and no more that we the place down so that's good right and then hey soon enough we'll be able to upgrade this guy get him upgraded maybe two three three i don't know two three four times and then he should be able to reach the other side of the track and then guys guess what at that point we're gonna be slowing the enemies as they spawn which once again is honestly incredibly op if you're able to pull that move off right so that is the ideal situation that we find ourselves in but will it happen will it not i'm not sure but as you guys can see this track you know these enemies are attacking us pretty darn quickly here so it could end up being pretty bad for us but let's upgrade the next santa there we go so actually guess what we can upgrade another santa so let's do it again there we go let's do another one guys so hey we're at 300 600 uh let's see so we need 600 for this upgrade i'm at 300 now i can't do it just yet but maybe another wave skip i can do it and then uh, we can start attacking these guys from the front that'd be good or i could go ahead and upgrade my santas early i don't know what's the right move here guys i think i'm gonna upgrade this guy so that way when we do kill these uh front like enemies we could actually start focusing up on the guys and the you know other side of the track over there that's gonna be pretty op for us so as you guys can see three two one boom now we're able to kill these dj toilets as they spawn but not for long because we got a dual claw toilet coming our way so let's get down to medic just in case we get stunned or something like that that would be really bad we don't want that to happen guys now we got enough money to upgrade a santa tv though we could actually do two santa tvs which is epic there we go and uh, hey that's gonna give us a bunch of extra money almost one thousand dollars per wave skip yeah you heard that right already guys it's only wave eight so you know we're gonna start getting these upgrades down pretty darn quickly which is gonna be epic and uh you know probably just super strong for the team so you know no complaints coming from me guys no complaints coming from me but let's keep it up we might want to upgrade this guy the green laser guy again because we do have some bosses rolling our way now so those could be trouble so let's go like that boom there we go he's upgraded so now he's gonna be able to handle himself even better and i'm gonna go ahead and toss down a dj right there that dj is going to affect the green laser and we're gonna be even stronger now guys so we can even upgrade him again i don't know if it's really worth it or not it might be might not be but i'm just gonna upgrade my santa first because that equals more money and then guess what i'm gonna upgrade my santa again because the wave just skipped and then i'll do it again and then again and then even more and more and more later and later and later throughout the match all right but look at this yeah we are uh i think making the right move here because the dj is able to clear up all the start of this wave and he plus even damaged the bosses guys this is going so well for us let's upgrade our santa again though there we go let's upgrade our santa again this is just it never ends guys it never ends at this point i don't, I don't even know what to say it's crazy can we take out that bus out though uh oh the bus side is kind of getting far now we got some more mutants here uh oh guys now it's getting a little hectic i ain't even gonna lie here holy smokes this is this might end up being pretty bad i don't know we're gonna see it, it might be okay it might not be i don't know we're gonna try to get down maybe this uh big bad man right there because if i don't do that then i think we might get ourselves into a little bit of trouble and i don't want that to be the case so let's get him down let's get our medic upgraded as well and then hey we'll get some more upgrades here pretty soon but you know i think it's gonna be crucial to get our medic upgraded here because if i don't do that well obviously then uh we're gonna be in some big trouble guys we're gonna be in some big trouble but hey let's spend this extra two thousand that we have here on some more santa upgrades and then we'll go back to upgrading maybe sin oh no guys that's stupid okay you know what i'm gonna do now instead of that happening i'm just gonna get down three of our green lasers right here in the front that way those uh, explosive guys are baited into those cameraman and i don't really care if they get stunned because honestly it's not that big of a deal for me so if they get stunned they get stunned if they don't they don't as long as they don't stun my sinister everything is gonna be chilling big time but hey runway 15 i really would love to get some more upgrades on the santa tv so that's just what we're gonna do guys we're just gonna go ahead upgrade the santa tvs and then we'll upgrade them again and again and again and again but now we are able to spawn trap essentially the front of the map we do have our first 2.0s coming our way though so that could be trouble but i mean that uh oh wait hold up that airplane so it might be the biggest trouble though oh no we got stunned too okay well that's not good <laughs> uh oh don't get stunned now not the time to get stunned guys so let's well, let's wake up here let's get ourselves back into the fight and hopefully we'll be chilling right there we go all right guys all right all right now, I definitely need to get my medic upgraded one more time here so he actually covers my Sinister because I guess where he's standing right now, unfortunately, he doesn't cover him. So, that sucks. But guess what? Now he covers him. So, 
Jokes on you, toots. We are covered, and you guys are gonna be in big trouble. So here we go. Those little snowballs that he's throwing just wiped out a whole army, which is crazy to even think about. Let's upgrade our little dude here again. That's good for us. And we just got stunned. That stinks by two buzz saws. That's not good. And anyways, though, we're gonna upgrade our guy again. There we go. Sinister's upgraded again, guys. That's super strong, super OP. But we do have some 2.0s coming after us now and a blind toilet, so that could be bad. But, you know, we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. I could definitely get my green laser upgraded as well, which would definitely help my DPS out. So let's just do that, just because I think it gets the DPS up to 9,000 per second, which is even more than this guy, I think, or at least almost as much. And it's way cheaper. So, you know what? I might as well do it, right? I might as well do it. And, uh,. It should pay off in the long run. It should. It should. And look at that. He even reaches across the track all the way to over here. But look at this. We got our first airplane toy coming our way. Uh-oh. That can't be good. But anyways, we should be okay. There we go. Let's upgrade a Santa. And then we'll get two more Santas upgraded here soon. And then uh, we're one level away from maxing all my Santas out. So, hey. I mean, once we max those Santas out... At that point, guys, it's a GG for the toilets because then I'm going to start getting down some more Sinisters and more Sinisters equals death for the toilets. So, yeah, GG's, right? But that UFO one could be big trouble if he gets, uh, yep, I was going to say, if he goes invisible right now, it's not good. Oh, we're getting him, though. Come on now, focus up, focus up. Let's go, let's go, get him. We're not attacking. We're not attacking quick enough here, guys. Let's go. Wake up. Let's get down another medic right there just to help out. That way, you know, we get stunned or whatnot. It'll be okay. We'll get ourselves right back into the fight. Now, what's the next upgrade cost on him? $8,000, guys. 8K? 8 racks? I don't know if I can do that just yet, but let's uh, let's just upgrade the Santas because I feel uh, better about getting them upgraded before wave 25. If I don't do that, I'm going to feel like I failed. All right, anyways. We got some flying rocket launcher toilets coming our way. Those are not good to fight against, but... I don't think it's gonna kill us, so we should be okay, right? There we go. Let's upgrade another Santa TV man, so that's good. And then we'll keep on upgrading the last one as soon as I'm able to. I can't do it quite yet, but guess what? The wave just skipped, and now I could, so that's great. Let's do it. There we go. We got maxed out Santa TV man. That's great. That's great. And now we got some forklift, UFOs, giant blind toilets, all that great stuff. Let's take him out here. We are stunned again, though. Let's upgrade our medic here, so. He acts a little bit better for us, so, you know, it doesn't let us down. But, oh boy, guys, this is actually not so good right now. If, if my Sinister doesn't... Okay, good, he killed them. Okay, we're, we're getting a little sketchy here, guys. I need to upgrade the Sinister ASAP. Otherwise, these blind toilets and bosses and stuff are going to be a big problem here soon. So, come on, wave skip, 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 skip. Come on, you need to skip. Thank you. Okay, we're, we're back, guys, we're back. The boys are back. The boys are back in town. There we go. We got it. We're chilling. Now we can maybe focus up on upgrading the DJ TV man too. We can max him out. And then, uh, hey, we'll really be doing some serious damage at that point, right? So we got this Bala Kalva unit coming though. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's uh, let's kill him, boys. Come on now. There we go. We got him. Let's upgrade the uh, DJ TV man. We just got an extra 10% damage and cooldown decrease. So that's got to mean something for us. But uh-oh. Yo, 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 yo. That uh, dual claw guy's kind of getting by right now. We're not focusing up on that airplane to it. Yo, this is bad. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up. It's not the end of the world. We just have to uh, do something smart here, I think. We have to sell this guy. Maybe get this dude over here a little bit. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? It won't let me. Yo, yo, yo. Come on. They're both, They're all sleeping right now. Yo, sell. Sell, sell, sell. There we go. And upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Come on, kill him. And we got that guy. All right, all right. Wow, yo, that was close, guys. That was closer than I would have liked to see right there. I didn't like that. That was kind of sus, but we uh, we managed to to play it safe and, and figure it out. So we're good. We're back. We're back. We're back. All right. Good, 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 good. Let's upgrade the Sinister again. This next upgrade is not too big of a deal. The one after that's the one that decreases the cooldown to 0.1 seconds, though, which makes us a lot stronger. So let's do this upgrade first. Another Wave Skipper 2. And then guess what? We'll be right back at $14,000, and we'll have enough to pull off the big upgrade. So, here we go. What we Looks like we got ourselves another one of those uh, dual claw bus side guys. I hate those ones, but we'll get them. We'll get them. And the next wave skip, three, two, one, and boom. There it is. Boom. Now we got the next upgrade, and we're one away from maxing this guy out. And once we get that scythe, guys, the rest is going to be history. Let's just sell this uh, green laser over here. feel like we don't really need him there. 
And uh, hey, we can get another one down over here. And that way it just he helps out a little bit more, right? So let's do that. And then we'll focus up the rest of this money towards getting this $18,000 that we need to max him out, which is not easy to do, but you guys know it. We could do it. We could do it. We could definitely, definitely do it. We just need to do another two wave skips and then we should be straight chilling. But look at this. This Sinister is going ham. He could reach like most of this map now at this point. Like look at that. And uh, by able, you know, by him being able to do that, we're essentially fine. And guess what, guys? It's time. It's time for the big bad scythe. Let's go. We just pulled it out. We just pulled it out. Check it out, guys. Now we mean business. And I'm not even joking around anymore, guys. We actually mean business now. Let's get down to Sinister right here. And uh, hey, we'll start focusing on upgrading him, maybe. Maybe I should do this uh, green laser first, though, just because. Oh, well, why not, right? Might as well like, upgrade him there. And uh, hey, let's just keep it rolling. We'll just keep it rolling, guys. I could even get down another Sinister, maybe here. Or... It's tough to say. I want him in the range, obviously, of my my DJs. So if I can't do that, then it's not really worth it. So I don't know. I could always get down another DJ, though, like I did in the last game. So it's okay. But for right now, just max out this one, and then we'll figure it out. But. I mean, so far, guys, we're basically able to spawn trap these guys. Not uh, not quite completely, but not like Palm Paradise. Let's just put it that way. But anyways, good enough, right? Just just about right. Just about right. Phew, look at that. That vacuum slipped by somehow. How the heck did a vacuum slip by the Big Bad Sinister? I, I don't know how to explain that, guys. I thought for sure that the Big Bad Vacuum would have been able to handle himself, but actually said that wrong. The Sinister, but maybe not. I don't know. We're going to be okay, though. Let's go. We got this, guys. We are actually spawn trapping now, though, for real. Like, I'm not even joking. Check it out. And let's go ahead and upgrade this guy again and just uh, kind of keep on doing these upgrades. And at that rate, you know, I think we're going to be good. Like, look at this, guys. Yeah, they cannot get outside of that tunnel right now. Holy smokes, guys. Look at them go. Yo, they just die, like, right away. That's actually crazy. That reminds me back in the day when, like, the, like, the new Galaxy came out and it was so 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 strong we we're just spawn trapping on nightmare mode of five people it was crazy can't do that anymore but hey you can still do it on solos almost so that's cool that's cool i like it i like it but let's see here we got the flashlight guy nope not today we don't he's dead he died real quick all right anyways though we got some other units that we have to take care of here Fifteen thousand dollars i'm at so i just need a little teeny tiny bit more eight hundred dollars six hundred dollars five hundred four hundred one hundred boom we're already there all right look at that guys now we got two sites on the map at once which uh just proves to be insanely op and strong now i might be able to slip in a nice little sinister right wait i had it i had the green spot y'all saw that right wait 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 where can i do it come on wait right there guys come on i saw it i saw it boys what the heck it's not let me place it it's gotta go right here or could I, can I fit her? Oh, I can fit one right here, guys. Wait, what the heck? Right there. That's perfect. All right, great. That's even better. Now I can really reach the front of the track. Perfect. Look at that. Yo, that's the spot right there, guys. That's the spot. Seriously, I'm not even joking now. Look at us. Okay, good. Those explosive guys, they still go for my little bait units, too. This is perfect, guys. This map is almost done already. We're on wave 42, guys. What the heck? This is going by so fast. We're going to actually beat this challenge, I think. Maybe. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be definitely, definitely really close. But I just feel like it's pretty impressive that we were able to, uh, you know, win on Palm Paradise. And now we're getting close to winning on this map. So, hey, if we keep this up, we might be able to beat the hardest challenge, which is definitely going to be Toilet Lab. We'll just have to see, though. That map is, I'm not even joking, guys. It's no joke. It's tough. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be surely a challenge. We'll see if we can do it or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to the green lasers to, you know, handle those first 20 waves. And those first 20 waves in that map... No joke, boys. Not even the slightest. Not even the slightest. But we only have six waves left here. And I mean, I think we're fine. Realistically, like, what are they going to do now? I feel like after you survive up till wave 30, like, if you make it past the 20s, 30s, up to even 35, like, the rest of the game's easy. I don't know why that's the case. But I feel like after that, like, benchmark, it just gets easier. Like, whereas you know realistically it should get harder right but no it just gets easier because you have super op units right so that's just how i see it but anyways let's get that next upgrade boom now we're doing even more damage so good luck toilets you're just uh i don't know this is bad this is bad this is really bad all right anyways 
We got the quad blade strata toilet from those welders. Oh no. But we're basically like three hitting all these enemies because I hit them once with the scythe from the one guy and the next guy and the next guy and they just die. They, they flop over. All right. Anyways, can I fit in another sinister? Let's see. Like, I, I don't know if it's going to let me guys, unfortunately. Like sometimes it pops up green. I'm just going to keep on spamming. Like, wait, that worked. That worked. Yo, it worked guys. Let's go. Okay. We're so chilling now. That actually worked. I can't believe it. All right, good. This is great. This is great. This is a GG for the toilets for real now this time. Not even kidding around anymore, guys. We're going to have four Sinisters, all these green laser guys. Hey, good luck. Good luck, toilets. It ain't happening today. I'm sorry to break it to you. We got the glitch toilet. <laughs> the glitch toilet died in like two hits. I'm not even kidding. What the heck, guys? That's so broken. That is so broken. This is so great. And this is a quick game. It's only 16 minutes. Like... Guys, y'all remember when this used to take me, like, no joke. This used to take me 50 to even over an hour. Like, it, it used to take that long to beat Nightmare Mode. And now I can just sit here and auto-skip it. Like, what? GTD used to be so much better back in the day. Like, honestly, I feel like it shouldn't be played like this. But it is what it is. Uh, like, I mean, I guess we're kind of using a strategy, right? But, like, I don't know. It just doesn't. Something about it just doesn't feel right, guys. I feel like I just shouldn't be able to... Auto skip to the hardest difficulty this easily. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. I mean, I, I get it though. Some people are probably still struggling. You know, like, hey, LT, you just have the best units. That's why. I get it. I get it. I do. I know I do. But still, you know, this is the hardest mode. You should only be here if you have the best units, right? So, it well, makes sense. But look at that. <laughs> that guy just died in like a half a second. 16 minutes, 52 seconds, guys. Let's go back to the lobby. And hey, we are on to the next map now. So, we should do, let's see, like I said, so we did Palm Paradise, Toad City. I'll meet you guys in the desert. All right, guys. So, hey, here we are in nightmare mode on the desert. So, this map is notoriously pretty hard, in my opinion. I don't really remember beating this map ever on nightmare mode. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I don't know if I could say I have beaten this map on nightmare mode. So, today is going to be a new day. We're going to try to beat that challenge. Let's see if we can win the third game straight here. So, here we go. We are on wave one. Obviously, auto skip is engaged. I got my first uh, dude down, but I'm going to go ahead and plop down the big bad green laser guy right there. Because if I don't do that early, we'll be in big trouble. So there we go. He's down. And hey, let's keep it up, guys. Let's keep it up. We're doing great. Let's do this. So that guy's going to do his thing. I'm going to go ahead and get down my other Santa TVs over here. And then we'll just keep on rolling, guys. Now, some of you guys may be questioning, like, why do I put my guys so far away? Because I know, I know, I used to tell y'all back in the beginning of this game to put your Santas like up in the front or your scientist guys near the tracks and then they get fake stunned. But that was back when you needed strategy. Nowadays, you don't need to do that. You don't want your medics to, you know, waste stuns on those guys. There's just no point. You don't want to do it. So, you know what, guys? Don't do it, right? Simple as that. Don't do it anymore. You don't need to. Now, anyways, let's upgrade this guy again because I feel like if I don't upgrade him, I might run into a little bit of trouble. So let's get them upgraded. We'll take out all those toilets. And then we can go, of course, plop down the next Santa TV man over there. So, so far, so good. We can even upgrade two of the Santa TVs. That's great. We'll do that now. And then, uh, you know, we'll just keep letting this uh, green guy go crazy. All right. Let the green guy go crazy. If he is able to, then we should be able to survive, you know, most of these... Uh, Beginning waves, other than this dual cloud toilet, these other guys are just not much of a threat. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to upgrade this guy again because it is going to get a little hectic here. You see all these troops. Like, I need to get that cool down down as much as I could. Otherwise, we might run into a little bit of a problem. So there we go. Let's see if we can take him out. And don't stun me. Don't stun me. Don't stun me. Please don't stun me. Okay, you didn't stun me. We're good. We're good, guys. We're chilling. Big chilling. Big chilling. There we go. There we go. More upgrades on the Santas. And let's keep the game rolling here, guys. Let's keep it rolling. So now it looks like we're going to get our first couple bosses on this map. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Is it is it going to be doable? Are we going to take him out? Are we going to die? Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know the answer to that question. We'll see here soon. I mean, it looks like I'm doing a good amount of damage. But got to keep in mind, this track is super duper short. So, I could still end up choking this, guys. I really could. I'm not even kidding, right? So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There we go, though. We almost have enough money for the next upgrade on them. And I think I'm going to save up for that upgrade because, you know, once again, these enemies are definitely getting stronger. And I really need that extra damage. Plus, that cooldown is going to help out a bunch. 
There we go. We got it. The boss is almost dead. All the police uh, toilets are almost dead. And all the DJ toilets are dead as well. That minigun toilet could stun us, so that's not good. Let's get down to medic just in case. And we could even now, of course, get down. I'm trying to think, do I want to get him down right here? I mean, yeah, it's fine, guys. We'll just put him there because we'll get all the green guys down here. And then, uh, you know, we should be able to go from there, right? So we'll do that. We'll do that. And then later on in the game, I'll get my sinisters towards the front where my mouse is up there. But for now, I think that's smart to put them there because if I don't do it there, then that green laser is going to be uh, just not as effective, right? So plus we got that that bus out to coming our way now. He's uh, slightly slowed down from the green laser, but not completely, guys. Not completely. Now he is again, but are we going to get him? Yeah, we got him, guys. We got him. Let's go. So far, so good. Let's just keep it up. Keep doing what we're doing. And keep upgrading the Santas because these Santas are going to be our lifeline here. If I don't get those uh, upgraded like super duper quickly, then I'm probably going to run into some trouble here during this game. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. Come on now. We got this. Let's see. Let's see. We got the boss toilets. And come on now. Can we take him out? Let's see. Let's see. Are we going to be fine? I don't know. I think so. There's a lot of enemies, though. I, I feel a little nervous. I don't know if I should wait and just get this 4K upgrade. I think I might do that, guys. I think I might wait for the 4K upgrade like that. And now we can smoke all these enemies just like that. Do some upgrades on the DJ TV, man. There we go, guys. And let's just uh, see what we can do here. Oh, I'm getting a little nervous, guys. I'm not going to lie. Let's, let's upgrade the medic, too, just in case I get stunned. Because if I lose my only attacking unit... Well, I'm going to be in some serious trouble, guys. So maybe now it's going to be a good time to get down the Sinister here. Maybe like, come on. Anywhere? No? Game doesn't like me. The game doesn't like me, guys. I'm sorry. Doesn't want me to put down the Sinister. There it is. All right. Now he can at least attack some of these enemies as they uh, come through. We can slow them down. Hit them with that. Also do AOE. Yep, 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 yep. We should be good. And what can we do now? We need some upgrades on the Santas. Let's, let's do that. Oh, no. I just dropped my phone, guys. That was so close. I'm not even joking. I caught it mid-air between two fingers. That was that was a crazy catch. I wish y'all saw that. We needed a live cam of that. But anyways, here we go. Sinister is close. Yo, let's upgrade him. Boom. There we go. We got it, guys. Come on. We clutch this up here. We clutch it up. Those toilets are moving quick. Are those the cat ones? I don't even know. But anyways, let's just keep doing what we're doing. And we should be able to stay alive. We should be able to stay alive. Come on, guys. We got this. We got this. Let's upgrade uh, these dudes. There we go. And... Obviously, I just want to get those Santas upgraded as much as I could because these Sinisters, although they're like a little bit on the cheaper side compared to the Goblin, he's so expensive. Like, super, super expensive. Don't tell him I said that. Don't be mad at me. But it's the only thing, that's the only downside of him, right? Other than that, he's he's really expensive. But I still like him. He's, uh, he's good. He's cheaper than the clock, man, I think, right? But I could be wrong. Anyways, wave 19 has just started. So there we go. And now... We could go ahead and upgrade another one of our Santas. There we go. Wave 19. Come on. We got this, guys. However, do you all see what I see? I see a bunch of explosive flying toilets. Those guys kind of stink. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to slow these enemies down by putting uh, little baiting type green laser cameraman throughout the track like that. So, all those explosive guys, they get slowed down and stopped and we are able to handle them so i think by doing that it's going to put us into an excellent position to keep this game rolling keep it rolling keep it rolling all right let's go let's go flying rocket launcher toilet come on guys i need two hundred dollars one hundred dollars three two one can we get like one kill please game i just want to do this upgrade come on now come on now game three two one <laughs> any second no we don't want to kill that ufo toilet i guess guys we don't want to kill that UFO to it, so we don't want to kill it. We'll never get that upgrade. There we go. Now we can upgrade the Sinister again as well. I think he's stunned right now or something. There we go. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling, guys. Let's put down another Medic. We'll upgrade the Medic as well just to cover ourselves, make sure we don't die. And that's going to be probably pretty smart, guys. That's probably going to be pretty smart. So let's do that. And all these other mean toilets and whatnot shouldn't be too difficult. And I got $6,000 again, so I can upgrade another Santa. We're just one Santa away from maxing them all out so so far so good it's all working out guys it's all working out this giant blind toad though although he only has 300,000 hp he was a real tank there he just did not want to die i don't know what's up with him all right though let's uh 
Let's see here, guys. Let's see here. UFOs, we get the miniguns, and some more of the mask men. So, I mean, they're kind of tough, right? But tough enough to kill us? Eh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. Let's see, though. Let's see. Can we take him out there again? Well, we could upgrade our guy again, so that's great. We do a bunch more damage. Not the best upgrade yet, though. We gotta get that upgrade, like I said, where it takes us down to a cooldown of 0.15. That is broken. So, hey, once we get there, I'm telling you right now, guys, it's gonna be OP. But for now, we got what we got, and it is what it is. Let's upgrade our DJ man, though. That way, our teammates are absolutely OP when it comes to damage and cooldown time. So, that's good. It's a start. But enemies are making a little bit further than I'd like now. As you can see, some of those masked guys and other dudes kind of made it farther. So, I mean, hey, that could lead to some issues later on in this game. I truly hope not, but it could. It definitely could, guys. Let's let's be real here. We got to we gotta look at this realistically. That could be a problem. Hopefully, though, it turns out to be nothing. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now, so far, what is that? A mutant assassin to it? All right. He is going to stab our green laser there. Well, that didn't feel good. Let's try that again, guys. And the UFO so it's there. And come on, come on. Can we get him? Can we get him? Boom. We got him, guys. Let's go. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now, how about all these dudes? Rocket toilet. We got the jetpack, guys. And some other stuff. I mean, I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. Plus, now we got our sinister maxed out. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see here. We got the rocket ones as well. And we even have the giant blind toilet. So, let's just keep that going, guys. Let's keep that going here. So, I could actually even do the next upgrade on the Sinister. So, that's pretty cool. And we might actually be able to survive this, guys. Without the uh, without the DJ in the past. I don't think I used to be able to do this map. I'm serious, guys. I'm serious. I don't recall ever being able to beat this map. Not once. On I, I beat it on, like, you know, easy mode. Not, like, medium mode, hard mode. But, but never, ever, ever... When it came to nightmare mode, I don't think, I don't think I've ever even stood a chance, guys. And I kid you not when I say that. This used to be one of the biggest struggles for me in this game, this map, because it was so tiny, the track. But, you know, it seems that this one dude was just able to, to lock down the map and keep us in the fight the whole entire game, which is, it's impressive. It really is. It's impressive, guys. So, gotta, gotta be happy about that. The only problem with this map is I can't see where the lines are so i don't know where i put my next sinister down maybe let's see here i'll grab him again and can i fit him in like no guys i can't fit him i can fit him right here so that's good i guess we'll put him right there and it's not the best spot but it'll work it'll definitely work so let's begin upgrading him it's gonna be expensive journey but we'll get through it we'll get through it together wave 33 though guys wave 33 so this is fun we're uh you know cooking through this match it's almost over by all means i mean i think it'll be over here pretty darn soon and then hey we'll be on to the next one right let's see here twelve thousand dollars for this next upgrade though holy moly now that's a lot of money but one more way to skip i should be able to get that in no time so let's see here guys let's see let's see nine thousand there's the upgrade boom and look at that we almost have two maxed out sinisters I like how it takes like 20 or 30 waves to get one maxed out sinister and then after you get the first one guys it's like four waves and then you have another one maxed out it's so crazy how like that's why i said if you survive up to wave 35 the game gets easier right it's just true it does it realistically gets easier and easier and easier the more and more you play that's just how it goes i don't know is that a good thing bad thing i don't know what do you guys think should they make this game harder like maybe we just need like a harder mode like you know how they had abysmal mode? What happened to abysmal mode, guys? Like, why did they get rid of it? I, I don't understand. Like, why remove it? It was fun. It was a challenge. I like I like challenges. I don't, I don't want to be able to beat every map this easily. This is crazy. This is craziness, guys. All right, though. Wave 37. Let's upgrade this guy again. There he goes. And boom. Now we're doing even more damage. So check that out, guys. Check that out. Should I upgrade like these guys, though? I don't know. They keep getting stunned, so... You know, I kind of feel like they're a little bit of a waste i don't know they are slowing enemies down though so that's good so maybe i don't even upgrade them maybe i just keep them where they are and just let them do their thing i don't know guys i don't know but what i do know is i'm only like two thousand five hundred dollars away from the next sinister upgrade and it's gonna max out my second one so that my friends is pretty awesome one thousand dollars five hundred now let's go boom big upgrade that is awesome 
Now, I could get down another one, right? Maybe in this corner. No, it's not going to let me put him down in that corner. Are you kidding me, game? Why, though? Why can't I not get him right here, guys? Does anyone know? Come on, now. I should be able to fit him right there, right? Okay. I had a green mark there for a second. Can I... Let's see. Does that count? No, it doesn't count, guys. I feel like if I... I put him there, that's just a waste. I don't want to waste my resources here. What's my... Yeah, see, my range on that is just not great, guys. It's not great. So, you want to know what? You want to know what I do here? I drop down one right here. I max him out. Okay? And then I'm going to get down the sinister in this area now. So, you know what? This guy right here, I'm just going to delete him for now since he's cheap to replace. And then I'll get down this dude right there. And then also, I'm going to have to sell one of these medics back here. Not a big deal. We'll just sell one of those. And we'll get this medic right about there we'll upgrade the medic right and then we're gonna upgrade this sinister and this is gonna be great because now the sinister could just focus up on all these front men and we should be good we should be good guys however he keeps getting stunned a lot which isn't good so that could be a problem that could definitely be a problem i feel like my medic is not uh he's not helping out as much as i'd like him to so maybe i sell this medic back here and i get another medic in the front i don't know i don't know if that's worthy or not but i just did it so it is what it is. Let's do it. And then let's upgrade the Sinister now. So boom, guys. Boom, boom, boom. All these guys in the back, they seem fine. So I don't even think I really need to do that. And uh, yeah, we chilling. We chilling big time. Let's go ahead and drop in a green laser. We'll max him out real quick. And that should slow the enemies down even more. And the more and more and more and more. And the more we do that, the better off we are, guys. The better off we are. Let's get down another green laser here just to help out even more. There we go. And uh, hey, we'll sell that one in the front over there as well because... I feel like he's just a little bit of a wasted uh unit so let's get down another one and then uh, i think we have room for one more even so that's good that's great actually and was i right yes i can get down one more guys so we'll do that too because well hey why the heck not right let's do it let's do it let's do it and everything should go well from this point moving forward i think at least we'll see soon looks like some of these enemies are getting a little bit further but they're really not even getting to my my main sinister army right so i mean at that case if that's true then those Sinisters in the back are going to be the ones that save us. And then these guys in the front here are now going to be the ones that kind of just, you know, do most of the damage down to keep the game flowing, keep it going quick, and just keep doing just this quick, like, DPS burst damage, which is going to just make the job in the back there easier for my, my main upgraded Sinisters. I think it's going to make their lives a lot easier, guys, a lot easier. So if that's the case, I think that's a good thing for everyone. Now, Wave 47 is here. I am going to actually sell my Santas in the back here. That way I could get the money to upgrade this dude right now because it's getting a little hectic now, guys. It's getting a little bit hectic. I ain't even going to lie. Let's sell these Santas back here. And then we could go ahead and plop down another one of these dudes right there. He's upgraded and boom. That's it, guys. That's all we can do for the rest of this game. So wave 48 to 50. It's up to what I got. I mean, I might be able to get enough money to get $12,000. I'm not sure. It'll be close. But I mean, realistically, I think everything's going to be fine, guys. I think we're going to be all okay. We got the Sinister up here. He's doing a ton of damage. And then any guys that get by him, they're just dying right away to the to the sights in the back over here. I'm not even joking. Like, you, you guys can see it yourselves. I'm not lying. They just die. They just die, 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 die some more. That's it. That's it for them. It's, uh, it's a disaster uh, match for those guys. I swear, guys. I swear. But holy moly, this is incredible. This is... This is just, like... Like, do I even need to play the other maps at this point? I feel like... I feel like if I could beat the desert, I could obviously beat, like, Toilet HQ. I could obviously beat Cameraman HQ. The only other one I kind of want to, like, test is the Toilet Lab. I think we might, uh... So, like, after this one's over, I'm going to play one more, I think. But we're going to do it on Toilet Lab. Because if I could beat that one, then I can, of course, beat every map, right? So, we'll try last... Uh, we'll, we'll do, like, one more. Because, like, like I said, there's no point in wasting my time, your time on, like, Toilet HQ. We'll, we'll just obviously win that. So, no point. No point. Let's just... Uh, let's try our best on Toilet Lab. See if we can do it or not. And, you know, that would be, like, kind of, like, where I wanted to do this challenge. Like, I wanted to beat all three. And uh, we, we did all three. Let's go for the four. Let's go for the four, guys. All right? We won that one. Let's go back to the lobby real quick and let's jump on in to the hardest map which is this one right here if you don't know why it's the hardest well because the track the track sucks here so <laughs> let's go let's go start this up it's a buggy map it's an ugly map 
and it's a tough map that's that's how i describe this one buggy and ugly that's that's the toilet lab might, that's what you might as well you know name the map for like april fools we'll name it buggy and ugly because i mean not gonna real i'm not gonna lie guys i don't i don't understand the the look of this map like <laughs> i don't know I don't know. I don't know who made this one. I don't know who made this one, but like whoever it was, they were just like clicking and like, like making the, oh God. Oh no, 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 no. We got to get back to the map guys. We're not paying attention. These guys are getting close. All right, hold up, hold up. We got to, we got to pay attention here. We got to get down this uh, green laser like right here. I think that'll be good for us. But what I was going to say, oh no, see, this is the problem guys. They get so far so quickly. I was going to say, they're just like dragging an upscale and like, like landscape. I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyways, I think that the inside though this looks a little bit better it's a nice like futuristic vibe i suppose but still not the prettiest map let's put it that way definitely not the prettiest map guys anyways though i do like playing here still because there's actually some cool things you could do uh, although it's ugly and whatnot you could like escape the map like run around it's just pretty cool i don't know i like it i like it for that reason and anyways, if we are able to win here, though, like I said, it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm going to be shocked if we can pull it off. But if we could, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Anyways, let's get that next upgrade there. And uh, hey, we'll go from there, guys. We'll go from there. Now, for the time being, though, like, just kind of think, like, if we could get the Sinisters up here in the front, like, this is going to be so easy. Like, in the, in the past, though, I, I just have never, ever, ever been able to pull it off. Just because it's so hard, guys. It really is. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's so difficult. But now with all these extra units in the game and, like, the DJ and the medics and just all that, it, it might be possible. It truly, truly might be possible. I'm going to go ahead and get down the DJ here in the front, I think. And by doing that, then, uh, you know, my green laser doesn't get stunned, first of all. And second of all... It just uh, kind of saves us. But maybe I should have upgraded my guy. I don't know, guys. Was that a bad move? That might have been a bad move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. That's not good. Some of these dudes are getting by. Okay, okay. Hold up. It's, not, it's okay. We'll just go like that real quick. Not a big deal. We'll sell them. And then now we can actually upgrade them again. So there you go. And we'll upgrade our Santa. Okay, that's fine. It, it sucked a little bit. We wasted a little bit of money there. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It happens. It happens, guys. It happens to the best of us, right? So here we go, though. We got our spiders. Some bosses even, but, you know, it's still only wave 7, so if we can't beat that, then we might as well quit this early on, right? Because that would suck. That would be a, a shame if we lost this early on, right? Anyways, here they come. The problem, though, is they might go separate ways, and that's what uh, really messes with our guys' AI pathing, so it's bad. Trust me, it's really, really bad. Anyways, let's see. I wonder how the engineer would work on this map, though. But you see this, how they like, I don't know, guys, it's just sketchy. It's sketchy, boys. Come on, attack the guys in the front. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. See, that he just doesn't know what to do. I, I swear, guys, I swear. He gets just overwhelmed or something. Like, see? Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh, no, some enemies are getting by now. Well, on the bright side, I can upgrade him again. So let's do that. This, uh... Wait, wait, hold up, guys. These are assassins. We cannot let them get by here. Hold up, hold up. Let's kill them real quick. All right, cool. We got them. We're back. Yo, the boys are back. The boys are back in town. There we go. We got the $500 upgrade here, $500 upgrade there. Everyone's upgraded. Let's upgrade to the 800 one, too. And, uh... We'll just keep on rolling, guys. We'll just keep on rolling. I should definitely get down a medic, though, here soon. Because if I don't do that, well, obviously, it's not good. Let's go like that. Boom. There we go. We got it. And maybe even do a nice little upgrade on the DJ TV man here. However, he just got stunned, so that sucks. We'll upgrade the medic, too. The buzzsaw guy. We can't let the buzzsaw guy. No, don't let the buzzsaw go get through. No, 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 no. Come on, get him. Oh, we actually did get him. Okay, cool. Cool. We're good. We're good. All right, guys. Let's get down the... Uh, the sinister like that let's do that boom there we go all right come on now we're fighting our way back into this one guys we're fighting our way back into this one this one's a little bit more hectic but it's doable come on we can do it we can do it let's get some more upgrades though we need these upgrades we're big time big time upgrades here get these upgrades we'll be able to upgrade that sinister and then uh keep the game rolling i think that doing these early upgrades though to my units is going to be a little bit more important during this match for sure because it just seems that you know, AoE here is going to be crucial. So getting this Sinister Man upgraded early as possible. Like right now, he's not really attacking the front of the track. So this next uh, wave skip here, I need to upgrade him, guys. I'm not even joking. Boom, there we go. Now he could reach most of the track, which is super duper strong for us. So we'll even... Uh, let's see, I was going to say I could get down on our medic here. But I might as well... I'd probably be better off just like upgrading him, to be fair. There we go. Let's just, let's just upgrade him. 
and then uh that covers the sinister the dj and the, the green laser guys so that's really good for us and i got two thousand extra dollars let's put that into some upgrades on the, on the santas get that extra money per wave skip and we'll just keep on doing our thing guys but it is getting harder i'll, I'll say that you know i'm not gonna lie to you it's it's definitely getting tough out here but i mean i feel like i got the the necessary troops to be able to pull this off however that uh multi claw jetpack toy still got 40,000 hp come on we gotta get him guys we gotta get him here let's go let's go no 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 don't die don't die me don't die me there we go we got him we got him guys we got him we chilling we chilling there we go and i got three thousand dollars we can put that into uh some more of our troops there we go and another wave skip boom let's upgrade some more of our santas and now our santas are looking mighty fine mighty fine guys mighty fine here we go let's keep this rolling that aoe damage though the splash damage on the on the sinister is seriously keeping us alive right now that's big that's huge now i do need to get the sinister upgraded again though to get that extra damage and less cooldown i'm gonna do that as soon as i'm able to three two one boom there we go upgraded him let's go let's go come on we got buzz size coming in at us from both sides here boys both sides we got buzz size both sides let's go let's go mutant 2.0s now both sides uh oh this is this is not good this is bad this is bad we have a boss as well uh, uh oh oh no oh no 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 um hmm guys 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 this isn't good this is not good we gotta go like this upgrade this laser back here and hopefully we'll be able to take out that boss with just one green laser cameraman guy right if we can't well gg but i think if i upgrade him again here i just need 500 dollars i'll be able to get him like he's already at 45 yeah yeah we got him guys we got him we got him we're good we're good there we go and three two one he is dead so we're still alive the boys are still kicking but it's definitely getting kind of uh kind of sketch let's get down like a dude there let's get down a dude over here maybe like nah, i don't like that spot but right there i don't know if that's gonna help or not but it should it should at least a little bit and we almost have enough money to upgrade the sinister again so hey we'll do that pretty soon as, as well here but for right now yikes guys we got a ufo oh no the ufo goes invisible right there yo that's bad that's really bad come on no he's stunned my guy's stunned wake up wake up big man come on i need you i need you man there we go upgrade him boom we got the upgrade so that's good and that green laser should be able to slow him down enough to kill him okay we're good we're good we got some toxic guys another bus uh, stuff but other than that we're fine I'm chilling i should probably put down a medic though on him just in case because that medic might keep us in the game it might not but i think it will let's also get down another sinister right there to help out some more plus that rocket guy rocket guy is not an issue i think we uh we have that locked down let's upgrade that uh, green laser in the front though too so there we go i mean guys this is a little bit scuffed all right don't get me wrong we're scuffed right now but we're still alive which is a great sign in all honesty that uh is all i could really ask for right now wave 24 so far i mean we're fighting our way into this game like we're, we're fighting our way back guys i'm not even joking like i feel like we should be dead but we're not we're alive and we're still going well we're still going strong so let's keep it up let's keep doing what we're doing let's stay alive let's get this win all right come on boys we got this let's uh let's maybe upgrade this medic here just so he does a little bit more for us there we go though holy moly though look at this this is bad this is really really bad now we got a lot of enemies getting through however we're getting them though we are getting them slowly but surely not perfectly but we are doing it we're kind of doing it it's not it's not perfect guys it's not perfect let's get some upgrades on this guy here even we'll get down a nice little dj on him as well just to help out a little bit here i don't like how i'm splitting my guys up though i let you guys know me i, I think uh quality is better than quantity but you know in this case i don't know what the other option would be right I don't, I don't know what we would do here let's upgrade the sinister again that should you know at least help out a little teeny tiny bit right and then i'm gonna go back here i'm actually gonna sell these cameraman guys because i feel like they're useless that guy he's he's gonna be stuck in an endless cycle of being stunned and then unstunned so let's just uh, get this guy down let's upgrade him as quick as i could and then hopefully by doing that you know we're doing enough dps back here to to stay in herself and stay alive so we'll do that upgrade the dj as well so yeah that that that's good that's good for us guys that's definitely 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 maybe not the perfect move because you know obvious reason but so let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it there we go we got that guy deleted too so that's good and get, upgrade the dj again and i'll get down three of my green lasers back here seriously like hey 19 you know 
not even 19 27,000 extra dps back here plus a little bit more like maybe 30,000 because of the uh dj tv man i mean that's good 30,000 damage per second i mean only for wave 29 is, is still pretty solid guys i mean it's not the greatest thing in the world by any means but like you know to keep us in the match that's that's nice pretty pretty good price to do it too not too expensive not too expensive at all so for now i think that's what i shall do should i upgrade one of my santas though because i have enough money to do it let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it there we go i mean we're hanging in there guys we are definitely hanging in there we could get some more upgrades on these santas that would be great there it is next upgrade on him and for the time being i guess we max out another one of these green laser guys there we go guys there we go and so now every single wave we're getting like 3k2 i mean pretty good not great like i said before but it's pretty darn good so here's the next upgrade there it is there it is so now we're doing thirty thousand, and we got to get that medic maxed out now next because the medic is you know if we get stunned it's what's keeping us alive right so medic we got to get you uh focused up on next here so let's do that plus look at how much damage we're doing in the front too like i know my army's split right now which is definitely like making me a little bit concerned i ain't even gonna lie but it's it's working out it, it really is it's working out for us guys but wait i do want to get these dudes upgraded though we get those santas upgraded boys we're gonna be just fine however i don't know about this guys what, do you, what are we thinking here we got a lot of uh units that are welded together and stuff and that's not good let's upgrade our sinister just in case i you know rather have the damage than not so let's do that oh no that that dual blade toilet is getting far no 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 guys this isn't good this isn't good let's get down another one just in case i, I don't know what else i can really do here yo it's not even let me place come on get him down upgrade him just more damage more damage more damage the better off we are come on get that boss 2.0 let's go we're still alive guys we're still alive right now holy smokes we are still alive we're in this fight and i don't know how but we are let's keep going come on now we got it we got it we got it we got it these guys back here though i feel like it's an absolute mess I, i'm gonna abort this mission back here guys these guys i'm selling them and i'm bringing back the funds to these guys here and by doing that i think i am making the right decision because to me these dudes in the front they keep getting stunned and they're just not the ones that are necessarily keeping us in the match right now hopefully that doesn't kill me but I don't think it will. I think it was a smart move here. I need an extra like $400 to get that next upgrade though. That'd be big. There it is. Come on, please get unstunned, dude. Like, dude, you've been stunned the whole entire match. I really need you to wake up, buddy. Let's get down another medic down here though. That's what I really wanted him for. Medic is big, guys. Medic is big right now. We need the medic. Trust me. The medic is going to save us. There we go, guys. All right. Now, ideally, I delete this guy here. But I can't delete him because he keeps getting stunned. Come on, please. There we go. We got him. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now, those uh, Santas there, I, I just, I, I don't, I can't. I can't, guys. I can't, I can't get them upgraded. I gotta, I gotta focus up here on the, the damage upgrades on my units. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. So, there it is. Let's get those damage upgrades. And that security guard has two, almost 1.2 million HP. No, guys. This is not it. This ain't it, guys. This ain't it. Come on, wave skip, wave skip, wave skip. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. This is really bad. I mean, we're still alive. Come on now. Oh, so close with the upgrade, too. 300k, that's it. If I just had a secret agent right now, we'd be able to get him. I, I can't, though. I can't. You guys got to attack him in the front. All right, yo, let's sell this dude here. Let's get the next one back here. And I, I don't know if that's going to clutch or not, but we got to try. We got to try, guys. We got to try. Wave 40. No. No, we lost. Oh man, guys. Oh man, that was that was a fight though. Either way, that was that was hectic, boys. That was hectic. That was a good run though. Hey, I enjoyed doing this. If we made it to wave 40 on that map though, like uh, let's just be real, guys, you know. We, we obviously would be able to beat Toilet HQ. The new track is actually pretty good, so it it's like set up so you can just easily dominate the toilets and then the cameraman hq is huge so we definitely be able to dominate in there as well so you know getting to wave 40 on toilet lab is very impressive and we beat desert toilet city and that other map palm paradise my favorite one so i mean this video is pretty epic though i gotta say i was fun making this like i haven't done a challenge this fun in a really long time i hope that you guys enjoyed it as well and if you played along did you guys beat toilet lab on nightmare mode auto skip only if i was doing just like normal mode like not auto skip only i think i could have beaten it easily but y'all know me i had to go the extra mile and put on auto skip right so that definitely didn't help but it was still fun 
And I want you guys to tell me if you guys have any other challenge ideas you want to see me do. Please let me know in the comments below. And I'll, you know, maybe get to them. Maybe not. We'll see. I'll try my best, okay? But if you guys did like this uh, this video a lot and you made it this far, smash that like button. Leave a comment. You know, smash that subscribe button if you're not subbed already. All that stuff truly, truly does help me out in the YouTube algorithm, guys. So seriously, when I say thank you, I really do mean that. And uh, if y'all want to watch maybe another video of mine, check out the one on your screen right now. I made it last night. It's really good. And I'll see you guys on over there. Adios.